Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brie. And before I even tell you what today's video is about, let's just mention the elephant in the room. I went back to the dark side. I'm incredibly in love with it. I have missed my dark hair for so long. I was contemplating it because it's like how much money you invest and how much damage you did to your hair to try to go blonde, but I just couldn't take it anymore and I'll film like a whole video as to why I went darker, but that's not today's video. So today's video, we're gonna be getting ready for fall. I already did a lot of fall shopping with like homey stuff as you can see behind me, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more that I have gotten. Before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, hi, how are you, welcome. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button down below and now let's get into it. Okay, so. I went to Bath and Body Works and did some damage, not gonna lie. So usually every fall I pick up a decent amount of candles, but this time, I'm not kidding, I have more candles than I think I could even light for the season. That happened to me last year also, I had so many Yankee candles that I couldn't even light all of them. So behind me, if you can see on my bed, there's one lit, that is a pumpkin spice from Yankee Candle. That I bought last year, this was the first time I got to light it because, like I said, I just had way too many from last year. Before we even get into the Bath and Body Works, I'll quickly go through the Yankee Candle ones, and then I will show you what I got from BMBW. I don't even know if that's a thing, I just didn't feel like saying the word again. The words. So, also from last season, I picked up Apple Pumpkin. It smells exactly like apples and pumpkins. I love the smell of pumpkin and apples during the whole fall season and like the autumny musk type of vibe going on. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but like that wooden mahogany type of scent. I love those, those are my top three. But yeah, there's this one. I have lit this, I just started lighting it like a week ago or whenever I decorated my room. If you didn't see that video, please go check it out. I'll leave it linked up here, but yeah. This one, pumpkin spice, and then I have two others. Those are sugar pumpkin swirl, and this is just so pretty. Like, it matches the aesthetic in my room, so. It smells like sugar pumpkin. Like, Yankee Candle, I feel like always hits the nail on the head when it comes to their scent and their, what's it called, um, title or name for the candle, always. And then this one's Cider House. Like I said, it smells exactly like a Cider House, like apple cider, that's the, scent you're getting from this one and the reason why i love yankee candles is because i feel like yankee candles they take a lot longer to actually burn all the way down so they last a bit longer compared to bath and body that's why i have so many candles because i feel like since they're a three wick candle they burn so quickly since there's like three of them and it just melts down easily and they're kind of short this is just a one wick and a full-on jar you know so yeah, I just have those two candles already in my room. And then I have, if you guys don't know, the signature candle from Bath & Body during the fall season, leaves. Now you do. Go pick it up. It literally smells like autumn air, you know, when the leaves fall and there's like a little gust of wind going on. Yeah, it smells just like that. It's, oh, to die for. All right. But now to get into the rest of my Bath & Body stuff. I might as well just stick with the candles. So this is Mahogany Apple. I told you there's going to be a very, very recurring theme here. So Apple, Pumpkin, Mahogany. I should have picked up more than this one because it is, oh, I can't even explain it. Like, it's so good. So if you guys know the signature Mahogany candle, this has a fall twist to it. So it's Mahogany Apple. And what it says on the back is... It has red mahogany wood, golden delicious apple, pink pe peppercorn, fresh lavender springs with essential oils. I cannot wait to burn this. I'm saving this one for either October or November because I just feel like September, we're still in summer. Like, not gonna lie, I'm just rushing summer. I'm over summer, but I'm really saving this for when the leaves change outside and the leaves start falling. That's when I'm gonna light this bad boy. Then I got pumpkin bonfire so again it literally smells like pumpkins and bonfire the description <coughs> the description is white pumpkin a bundle of clove buds glowing embers with essential oil 
I get that bonfire smell from it. Yeah, and pumpkins. But those are more so like your all-around autumn scents, not just like strictly pumpkin. So then this one is called Pumpkin Clove. It smells like pumpkins. Like a whole on pumpkin patch. Clove buds, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, fresh pumpkin with essential oils. They all have essential oils in them. But yeah, this, you get like a strong pumpkin-y scent from it. Not complaining. And then I just thought this one was so pretty. So this is what the jar looks like. Like this is stunning. It's called white pumpkin. So this one is a lot less like full on with the pumpkin scent. This is a little bit lighter. And it says white pumpkin, autumn spice blend, ground cinnamon with essential oils. Yeah, I definitely get that ground cinnamon and a white pumpkin autumn vibe. Exactly what it says. Like it smells like that. Oh, it smells so good. And then I picked up two smaller candles. This one's called pumpkin spice latte because I mean, how could I not pick up a pumpkin spice latte? And it smells like a latte. It smells like some marshmallows literally a latte anyway it says fresh espresso pumpkin pumpkin pie space whipped cream sprinkling of cinnamon sugar yeah i got all that vibe in this i just had to spell it one more time it's so good but i wanted that in the three wick they just didn't have it that's why i picked up the little guy and then i picked up this little guy because i wanted three wick as well but they only sold it online not in person so i just picked up the little guy these were i think two for 20 and then all the three wick i think for the day was 11 dollars. but i know currently they have it on sale like 10 dollars off all three wick candles so hopefully by the time i get this video up the sale is still going on if not they will definitely come back with another sale my advice is do not buy them for 25 dollars piece they are not worth it they burn so fast wait until they're like 10 to 14 dollars 11 to 14 dollars then go purchase it So this one is definitely different than all of them, but I'm waiting until Halloween to light this one. It's called Galfriend. So cute. Here, look at it. It's a bit sweeter. It's on the sweeter side. It smells like strawberries. Dark strawberries. Ghostly peony. I don't know. And pine chilling citrus. So, I mean, this does not smell like fall, but it was too cute to pass up, so I wanted this. And I would just light it with, like, pumpkin bonfire or mahogany apple or just leaves like something like that nothing too powerful not like an apple or my pumpkin clove stuff like that because i feel like that would just clash this needs like a softer more wood mahogany type of scent to go along with it but it's just okay but it's just too good not to pick up all right so enough with the candles how many even was it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten candles up oh, 11 because of leaves i didn't show you guys that because it's lit over there and i don't feel like blowing it out to show you and getting wax everywhere no offense sorry but 11 candles who needs 11 candles for one bedroom one a bedroom this is why i wish i had an apartment or like my own place because and then i could light my candles all throughout the house and it'll smell like pumpkin all around one day and then i picked up a few body stuff because it was buy three get three free so i'll start off with the ones that i've been using already this is champagne apple and honey it smells so good it smells like apple and honey but the champagne i can definitely get it smells like a classier cleaner not too like full-on fruity type of vibe so let's see where what does it say fragrance notes Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, Autumn Woods. And my favorite is this type of cream. So this is like the 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea. I just think the other bottle, like their classic original bottle, it lingers too much. It makes me like slippery. Like I feel like it just doesn't soak into my skin as much while this actually absorbs into my skin and leaves my skin feeling so soft and amazing for a long period of time so that's why i always get this one even though it's a few dollars more like this one's 14.50 the other one i think is like 12.50 or something like that but i would rather spend the extra money and get the proper 
lotion and cream for my body compared to like the other one. I'm not a big fan of the other one. Like I said, I think it's just like really slimy. Ew. But I did get the matching body wash with it. It's just in my shower because I've been using it. And the reason why I've been using these, like I said, because apple I feel like is good for September. Like when I think of September, I think of apple picking, then October's pumpkin picking. So that's why I'm doing all apple now. And then I got, could you guess, pumpkin. I got sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This is the shower gel. Mm, too good, too good. This is, the fragrance note says, Herloom Pumpkin Autumn Cinnamon Ginger Snap Whipped, whipped Vanilla. And yeah, it smells amazing. But to go along with this, I got the same exact cream. I just feel like when you have the body wash and the cream, it really complements each other. So that's why I do that. I always get like that type of cream and then the body wash. But I also picked up the body spray. I wouldn't be spraying pumpkin all over myself just because that's like, too much that's extra and i don't want to walk around smelling like a pumpkin patch even though i love it the lotion is like good enough and i have the hand sanitizers good enough but this i'm planning on leaving in my car and i'll just spray my car with it so that my car also smells like pumpkins speaking of i need to remember i'll find it after i have three car air fresheners two some type of pumpkin scent and then the other one's flannel i have to remember to take those and put them in my car so i can start opening them and letting my car smell like fall and then lastly from bath and body i picked up this is brand new so this is marshmallow pumpkin latte and it's in the mousse bottle like it's so cute but it's a whipped body mousse so i'm excited to give this a go this though is expensive like 19 dollars, 18.50 and it's smaller this is 5.3 ounces and in here there's eight ounces and this is 14.50 but I, I don't know i just really need to see what this was all about so i'm gonna give this a go and then i'll let you guys know if it's worth money or not it probably is not but i just want to try it out i feel like that could be cool because like i said i don't like lotion lingering on me i like when it just dries and absorbs into my skin and gives me that moisture instead of like the slippery slimy just sitting on my skin surface level type of vibe and i feel like a whip mousse could be actually really good so we're gonna try this i'm excited then lastly i picked up i went to ulta and i did get a few things but this is really the only fall thing like i got some lashes which they're both gone already got some lash glue i got oh i got this when it was on sale for half price this is such a good foundation i got this in 30 30 355N, my other shade, is a more cool tone one, so I needed like something more neutral, so it'll still like complement my skin a bit better. Then I saw that they released this, and I don't have a palette like this at all, so this is the 35C Everyday Chic Palette. This is more cool tone. This reminds me of not really fall, but more so winter, but also like wedding vibes, so there's like, let me just show you. This is what it looks like, and I might keep this piece of paper because it has all the names on it and that's it so i think i'm gonna keep that so this is what it looks like without the plastic on and i just thought it was stunning like down here this screams like christmas to me all the greens and stuff the blacks they have a lot of different sparkly blacks like this one has some silver sparkles in it this one has a pink reflex to it then this one is just like a black sparkly one and then over here again cooler tone and then up here for me, this is what I mean. Like that looks like wedding vibes to me. And they're more neutral. Like I have a lot of warm palettes. I don't really have cool tone palettes or pinky, purple, green palettes. So I did want to pick this up just because like, like I said, I have nothing like this in my collection. And I feel like I can make a lot of nice winter party looks with this. So like New Year's and Christmas and Thanksgiving, stuff like that. All those vibes. So I'm really excited to play around with that. I will... Keep you guys updated on how I like it with the pigmentation, the wear, all the above. I think that is the end. I'm pretty sure that's everything that I got. I'm just going to spray this because like, I need to. Oh, and if you guys were wondering what was in my Dunkin' Cup or what is in my Dunkin' Cup, I always get during this season medium iced coffee with two pumps of pumpkin, one pump of caramel made with oat milk because they now have oat milk. And I do like oat milk over almond milk. I feel like oat milk... You can't really taste the flavor of it as much as you can with almond milk. So that's why I get this. Cheers. But yeah, like I was saying, that comes to the end of today's video. This is the first of many fall videos. No, 
second of many fall videos that I will have coming up for you guys. I have a two fall hauls coming up. I know I said that in my series of hauls a few weeks ago that that was going to be it for a while, but I also did say probably until fall, and here we are. We are almost in fall. So I have a Tiger Miss one coming up and an Opali coming up, one of my two of my favorite places to shop at, but stay tuned for those. And like I was saying, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!